Hello everyone, this is Sun of Winter. Welcome to my season on Haunted Stories. Now, we are in episode 4 of my season 8. Today, I will bring you back to Singapore to share with you a simple short ghost story that happened in Pula Tekong again. But I'm not sharing the same story I shared many months ago. I will be sharing a new story by a person I know of who shared his experience in the toilet. It's not my own story, by the way. I did share my own story before at Pula Tekong. Um, this place, for those who are not familiar, is a military training center for recruits. Mm, you may not be aware of this. All Singaporean men aged 18 have to be enlisted for national service. And this is one of the camp that is used to train recruits to make them soldiers. Now, I'm going to share with you a story at the Jetty Toilet on this island. So Pula Tekong is located on the northeast of Singapore, between Singapore and Malaysia. It used to be a fishing village, but was cleared to make way for the military camps. So we have the basic military training center at this island, as well as uh, other camps. Now, I'm going to start the story. During my time in Tekong, I was in Mohawk Company, and there was this week which my company was scheduled for the island prowling. I was arrowed with a few other guys. I have not received my M16, which is the rifle issued to all recruits. So since I was not issued yet, I have to be assigned with Baton and Rattan Shell. So tapping with a buddy who recently injured his leg during training. So movement was a bit slow for him. So I had to accommodate him. I was given two different time slots for prowling just after sunset and 2 a.m. plus. To cut the story short, fast forward to 2 a.m. prowling. I finished my prowl and went to the toilet in the jetty to just wash up my face and fill out my water bottle from my SBO. It was a very, very humid night and I felt very uncomfortable and sweaty all over. The toilet looked quite modern with adequate lighting with three cubicles behind me as I was facing the mirror and facing. So when I was almost done with refilling my water bottle, I heard one of the cubicles flush. I was speechless. There was nobody else in the toilet except me. Then the door was left half ajar. And I noticed that there was really nobody. Ever since I stepped into this toilet, no one came in. I was the only one. Why were the cubicle flush? Yeah, so, okay, never mind. I ignore the flushing sound. Maybe, maybe there was a guard I missed out. But you know what? When I look at the mirror, which reflected the three cubicle, whoosh. Then in a few seconds, whoosh. There were three bloody flushes from three cubicles which after the first flush, so it was not just one flush, but all the three cubicles had flush. And I wonder why? Who the hell was inside? I asked myself, just nice I finished topping up my water bottles after fasting up to the pouches, I heard another set of sound. Glue, 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 glue. Repeatedly, I took my paper and Face the three cubicle. One by one, I gave a light kick to see what the hell is going on inside. So I kicked open the door to see if there's anyone there, but there was no one. So all the three cubicles were really empty. Although 
there were flushes and there was sound from there. The flushing sound ceased one after another when it ran out of water to flush. So it stopped because there was no more water. But the gloop, gloop, gloop sound remained. I took a step forward and nearly went weak at both knees. I really went weak. I couldn't walk right in front of me. I saw the metallic push button for the flush was depressed and when it's extended, it was depressed again. There was nobody there, but it was pressed down by itself. I took a few steps back and saw all the push button moving up and down very quickly, like somebody was there to push the button all along. I reverse, grab my gear, and fast march all the way to the restroom. Luckily, nothing bad happened to me. I did not experience anything worse after this. Okay, so... It's, it's a very short story shared by someone and I hope you enjoyed the story. It was really based on true encounter. So such thing to happen. I think it doesn't just happen in Tekong, but uh, I've also experienced with not myself, but my mom who claimed that where she was uh, working in her hotel, she also saw the same thing happening. And in hotel, sometimes there was some people who died there but it was not um announced or published on news because the hotel kept it confidential to protect the reputation okay so i hope you enjoy and do support and subscribe to my channel to hear more updated stories thank you very much have a nice day and good night